I find that some of the best violin accessory products are the ones that are the most simple. And in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you my thoughts on the Petty Violin Bow Case. This is what it looks like. And it's a pretty cool product, so stick around to the end of the video for this full review. If you're meeting for the first time, my name is Eric. I'm a violinist. I do a lot of violin tutorials, violin product reviews, such as this one. If you haven't done so already, consider subscribing to the channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below. Hit the bell notification so that way you get notified for when new videos come out. Helps me as a content creator to provide more videos for you. If you're like me, sometimes you just want to go get a bow re hair. And or sometimes you have multiple bows that one needs to be repaired and one needs to be rehaired. Well, this is why I like the Petty bow case. And this is a high quality bow case that I've had for numerous years, as a matter of fact. And uh, what, what I like about this Petty case is that it has nice leather stitching. It, you can tell that this is, you know, high quality. And although I'm a little confused as to why there's a zipper all the way down here, I think that's a design choice, but I digress. There are also various bow cases that are for two bows, three bows, five bows, and even goes on to even 10 bows. Those are by like bow block, but I am not interested in those because those are primarily for violent luthiers, violent dealers who have multiple bows that they want to either you know show a client or they want to sh you know try to sell you have the petty logo right here and you also have the maybe you can't see it but there's a petty logo on the zipper and all you got to do is zip around the bow case and you have this opening so you can put two bows in which quite frankly, you know, you're not going to be going into a violin shop, or at least me personally, I would not go to a violin shop with multiple bows that need to be rehaired. Usually it's about one or two on average, but it's never like multiple three or four bows at the same time that needs to be repaired. You could also find some of the stitching um, across the, the bow case and you see the white beautiful stitching all around. And let me just turn around over here. And you also have this buckle that you can adjust for the length so that way you could put it around your around your shoulder such as here what i also enjoy about this bow case is that there is a, a very nice lining inside you can get, you can see that it's a bit of a brown lining and what's great on both sides of the violin bow case is that there's a bit of a cushion um, you may not see it well, but if you feel it, there's a bit of a cushion on the top. So that way, if you are, you know, in transport, either you're in a city, you're on a subway, and you know, you're going to be, you know, bumping into people, or you're going to be throwing the bow case in the car, there is a cushion on both sides of the bow case, which is a nice plus, especially if you are carrying expensive bows, you know, $1,000 and up. And I can't tell you how many times I've used this just on getting a, bow, a quick bow re here. You know, I'm out doing errands, like I'm going out to get groceries or something. And you know, there's a there's a luthier nearby that I usually go to. I just, I just take this. I don't need to take my entire violin case um, with my instrument. I just take this bow case. I put it in the car. I go to a luthier. I just stick it out. I, get, I give them the bow to re here or whatever. And I'm on my way. So this is a very elegant solution to a very common problem that especially me that I had early on in my violin career. I'm like, I don't wanna take my entire violin to go get a bow rehair. I think that just makes no sense. You know, I've had this maybe for about six or seven years and the, the leather is pretty much the same color. I've chosen to go for like the black and brown with the white stitching. So this is a pretty short review, but there's not much more to it. But I wanted to provide some value to the audience on YouTube here so that way you know, they can make their life a whole lot easier. Now, before I let you go, I want to point out that this is a bow case for violin and viola. Cello, you might get away with the cello bow, but this is definitely not a, a bass bow case. Bass bows, depending on whether you're a German bow grip or a French bow grip, that will that that will play a factor into this. But as you can see, this, this bow case has a very small, um, small circumference over over here. So you can't really fit a big German bow. I hope you found this video valuable. I hope this video helped you. And if you like this video, hit the like button. And if you're new to the channel, again, my name is Eric. I do a lot of these kinds of violin product review videos and violin tutorials on the channel. If you haven't done so already, please make sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification, so that way you get notified for when these videos come out. Also helps me out as a content creator to provide more videos for you. Also be sure to stick around 
on the channel. I'm going to leave some violin videos and some playlists over here for you to get a lot more value out of the channel. Thanks so much, and I'll see you in the next one.